The province unveiled its housing targets for 10 communities across the province that were on its so-called naughty list, that is, those who are most in need of new housing starts. While most agree more housing is desperately needed, many cities say the targets will be very hard to meet. CTV's Rob Buffum has the story. New builds like this will need to pop up in many communities across B.C. soon as the province lowered the hammer, releasing targets for 10 communities that need to increase their housing supply. These housing targets put forward by the province mark a 30% increase in overall housing to be built in these communities. In Vancouver alone, the target is just shy of 30,000 new housing units in five years. The city and the province are really aligned on this, and we are very excited to get to work and meet the target. Not ambitious enough, say some housing advocates. You know, if you think of the thousands of people that have been pushed out of Vancouver in the last five years, I think people should look at these targets to have that happen again. While Vancouver tops the list, there are significant new builds required in other communities. Nearly 5,000 new homes in Victoria and more than 4,000 in Saanich. Uh, we're being asked to effectively triple our current output, uh, which will uh, challenge uh, our organization. Sleepy Oak Bay needs to build more than 600 new units. Its mayor says it's going to be hard to do, especially with things like inflation and labor shortages out of the municipality's control. If we're going to speed up this process, we actually do need help. And so the best way that the province can help us is not wait six months and then come in and tell us we're not achieving the goals. It's to start working with us day one today. To start on day one, to say that we're not able to hit those targets because X uh, is not going to be an answer. Uh, we're going to work together. We're going to get through it. The targets are welcomed by developers. We're hoping there'll be federal and provincial cash injections to municipalities as well, which will help them deliver the processes needed. While the province and Ottawa have said funding support for infrastructure needs is coming, it remains too vague for some municipalities. Infrastructure, obviously, there are some major challenges facing, well, not only our municipality, but all of us in Metro Vancouver. The province will check in on the 10 communities in six months to see how they've progressed. It could appoint an independent person to step in and identify problems if they're lagging behind. And Rob joins us live from Victoria. Rob, you've been looking at the details about these targets, and they don't just relate to the number of new builds required. That's right, Mia Jung. Uh, there are also recommendations for the size of the new builds, for example, one, two or three bedrooms, how many rentals there should be as opposed to owned, as well as a recommendation for 17,000 new below market rentals. I also asked the housing minister today what the plan was for middle class housing, because, of course, every type of housing is expensive. He said information about that will be unveiled in a few weeks time later this fall. Mia Jung. Rob Buffum reporting live tonight from Victoria. Thanks, Rob.